Hello and welcome to Building Tables with DBase Plus 9. My name is Mike Roslog and I will be the presenter and demonstrator today. Creating tables inside of DBase Plus 9 is really, really easy. And you can actually build tables for level 4 DBF files, level 5 DBF files, and level 7 DBF files. Level 7 is going to be the level or the default standard for building files inside of DBase plus 9. However, you do have the ability to build other tables below that value, and I will show you that today as well. So, without further ado, let's get into the demonstration. The first thing you need to understand about creating tables inside the environment is that you may have to go inside the BDE administrator. To get to the BDE administrator, if you're on Windows 7, click the Start button and then type in BDE in the search and that will bring you up to the executable. When you run that, you'll see a user account as you see here, press Yes. What this will do is bring up all of your configurations and database aliases for your product. As you can see, I have set up inside of here, I have all of my aliases, and I'm going to be using the dbase underscore samples. As you can see, I have it set to the standard, I have dbase as my default database type, and then I have my path where files are located. Now, inside the configuration tab, inside of the BDE administrator, you also have the, admin you also have the driver. Notice that we have native and ODBC. If I click on the native, you'll notice that there's a paradox underneath here. If I click on the paradox, you'll notice that I'm at a level 7. If I would change this to, let's say, a level 3, then let's go ahead and save or apply, and let's go ahead and start the product. So I'm going to start dbase9, and we're going to get into it here in a second. So it starts off. Now notice if I come in, there, as you know, there's many ways to create tables inside of dbase. You can come into the File New and click the table. You can come into the New on the toolbar and click Table. Or you can come into the Navigator, click on the Tables tab, and double click on the New Table, and then you get the Designer or the Wizard. Now we're going to use the Designer. Now when we do the Designer, we're going to come in and you'll notice that it's set up and ready to go for us to create a table here. So the first thing it's asking us for is a name and I will just say ID. It's automatically capitalized for you. You don't have to do anything like that. And then you come in and check the type of the field that you're trying to create. We have character, numeric, memo, logical, and date. That's because we're setting at a level 3 DBF file. If we were setting at a level 5 or a level 7, there would be additional ones. So once you set the type of value that type is going to be for that name column, you set it up, it's going to be numeric, and we're going to set an index on it. That's all there is to basically building a table. You come in, hit the next line, and you just keep on adding the columns that you want inside of your table. Now, that's how you create a level 3 table. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here, and I'm also going to close out of DBase again. I'm now going to come back into my BDE administrator, which I didn't shut down, and I'm going to come back into my level, and I'm going to make it a level 7. Now again, this is the default. This is what it normally ships with when you ship the product, okay? So I'm going to go in here and hit the apply, and I'll save the changes, and then I'm going to go ahead and close it because I want to keep it at level 7. Now we're going to come in, and now we have the same process. I'm going to go into my navigator and I'm going to double click on my new table. When I double click on the new table, I'm going to click the designer. And now I'm back into my table designer as we've seen before. So I'm going to say ID is my first one. Now the first thing you should notice is that it doesn't have caps turned on. That's because in DBase 3, it was supposed to have capital letters for the column names. In DBase 4, 5, and 7, you don't need that. So I can come in here and I can type in ID. I want that ID not to be a character, not to be a numeric. I want it to be an auto increment. So that means it's going to automatically increment my values up. Then I want to set up my index to be ascending on that. I'm then going to put in a name and that's going to be a character and I'm going to make this 15. 
and we'll set that to ascend. And then finally, the last thing we're going to say is job. And we'll make that a character of 10, and we'll set that for that. Now, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to hit the Save button. Now, notice when the save comes up, notice that it's showing the CRUD example here, but it's also mimicking these where I'm located inside of my navigator. So I'm going to say this is Roslog example. And we'll go ahead and save it. Now again, notice when we did that, because I'm in the DB samples, and that basically goes to the directory, there's my Roslog sample. Now that I've created that, I can come in, and if I want to, I can right mouse click on it and say design table, which will allow me to go in there and modify the table or I can view the table rows. Currently, I don't have any rows in there, but on my toolbar, I have the ability to add a row. So if I click that, I don't have to add an ID because it's an auto-incrementing field. But I do want to put in my name, which is Mike, and my job is CEO. And now, when I, when I save that, I can go ahead and close it. And now, if I go back into my table again, we'll go ahead and close that. If I come back in here and I say view table, you'll notice there's my structures I had. Now I can change this. I can make it into a form. I can make it into a up and down form so I can make it look the way I want. And then I can use my navigator buttons on here to be able to move back and forth and all of those things just like before. And then if I want to, I can go back into design and notice it takes me back to the table to where I can go ahead and do that. Now, now that I have created that table, it's really easy to go out there and use this table in an application. And I'll just give you an example. Let's go ahead and hit the new form. And I'm going to go ahead and hit designer. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that Roslog example onto my form. You'll notice that I have two things. I have the database and I also have the SQL. From there, if I go over to field palette, you'll notice that I have my structure, and all I want is my job, and I also want my name. Okay, and then I may come in here, and let's go ahead and just add a button onto here so we can say next for this, and then I'll come into my structure, and we'll go into our inspector here and make this say next. Okay. Now we only have one item in there, so while I'm doing this, I've decided, you know what, I want to come back out to my table, and I'm going to go back into the view table rows, and I'm going to add another table, and I'm going to say Paul, and I'm going to say sales. And we'll go ahead, we'll save that, and now we have Paul in there. So now, when we come into our application that we've built here, really quickly, I can come in and save this. And what we're going to do is call this the table example for the form. Say OK. And now I'm going to run it. Notice I've got it running. When I click the next button, oh, well, it would help if I would actually uh, put in some code to actually do that. So that gives you a good idea here. Let's go ahead and click on this. Go into my events and click on the on click event. I'm then going to come in here and type in form and then I'm going to put a period and I'm going to say roslog example one dot row set dot next. And that's going to be what I want to have send out to that. I'm going to hit the save button, close this, and I'm going to run it. And now when I hit next, I see Paul's out there. So that's really quickly how you build a table. You can add some data. You can write a really quick program to do that. And you can also, if you haven't looked at it yet, you can watch the CRUD example with DBase9 and see how you build the whole example really quick and really easily. Thanks a lot for listening. I hope you have a, a good time with DBase9. And thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye-bye.